Hey St. Louis, it's Angela Hockman here, your host on STL TV. I am very happy today because I've got a special guest in studio with me today. I have got Dr. Don Richards, mm -hmm. the founder of the Titus II Foundation sitting here with me. Dr. Richards, how are you? I'm doing well, how about yourself? I'm doing great. Thank I'm you for having me today. Well, thank you for joining me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, unfortunately some people might not be familiar with Titus II Foundation. Mm -hmm. What is it and why did you start it? So I was an educator for, well, I'm still an educator at heart, um, for 20 years. Um, I worked in the Ferguson Florissant and School District okay. as a business education teacher, high school. And I noticed that there were students who kind of fell between the cracks. Mm -hmm. um, so all the time that really bothered me and I wanted to, I thought with that extra motivation and push, they could um, achieve or strive for excellence. So um, I come from a non-traditional family. I was raised in a single parent home and my children were also raised in a single parent home. So okay. also those students who were from non-traditional families like foster care or um, their parents may be incarcerated or mm -hmm. they lost a parent raised by grandparents, whatever. Um, I just wanna help those students recognize their potential and help them navigate their high school careers and look at their post-secondary options. So so they can have a plan when, once they graduate high school. So many yes. students don't know what they're gonna do when they graduate high school. So right. that's, that's my goal is to help students figure that that's out. Absolutely incredible and very, very inspiring that you, yes. you saw this need. Mm -hmm. Like, how do we fix it? You know, I think if you're not part of the solution, are you mm -hmm. part of the problem? But exactly. you're, you're really um, doing a lot of good. When did you start this foundation? So it was started in 2018 um, with, with just the vision. I thought about it for a long time and mm -hmm. I just kind of started got, getting it rolling, getting the nonprofit um, status going. And then I gave out two scholarships during the pandemic from my own money. Um, because oh I just wasn't getting that the money. I wasn't really doing it. Um, and I got my board together and I said, I really want to do this. Um, and I gave away two scholarships the first year in 2020. Um, wow. You'll see on some of the pictures they have masks on. So we, we yeah. were able to um, provide them with that. And then the next year it started growing and growing and growing. Um, so we're just trying to help as many students as we can. Um, and it's typically students from the North County area, but okay. they can be from the St. Louis County um, and city area yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, so how, do, how does it work if someone, if you recognize someone that needs to be involved or do they approach you, do you approach them? How um, do you so get we, we take recommendations kids? from counselors okay. and um, you know, I, I have a lot of relationships with, with schools and mm -hmm. with teachers, of course, being a former educator. So I, you know, ask people for recommendations of students and sometimes students just see me and ask for help. Um, but ideally wow. we'll want to partner with schools um, to get students involved and do like a cohort program so mm -hmm. we can follow them all the way through and make sure they're successful. But they can always reach out to me on, on, their, on my website okay. or um, on Facebook or Instagram. If they have any questions, um, I'm one of those people that I just love helping young people. Yeah. So um, if they reach out, I'm gonna help them or do you know direct them in the way where they can get the help they need. So. Absolutely, and you'd have to think if someone is taking the time and effort to reach out to you that they're serious about the help and they yes. need it, and you are right there. Yes. Wow, so you also have coming up the third annual Educator Impact Awards. What are those? Yes, so in, uh, during the pandemic, I noticed my friends were really struggling. I, I stopped teaching just in time before the pandemic, so oh I kind of lucked out. <laughs> Could you have predicted um, what was gonna happen to no, the world? No, that was, that was an absolutely just unbelievable, but they were yeah. really struggling. And I thought educators get a hard, such a hard break and they don't get enough recognition. Mm -hmm. So I just came up with the award. And when we give our scholarships out at the banquet, I thought let's award um, educators and have people nominate people who have made an impact in their lives um, yes. throughout you know, the community that are doing great things. And it doesn't just have to be educators. It can be um, support staff, custodians. Last year we nom um, had our first custodian. Um, Amazing. That helped um, someone nominated him because he was actually making an impact on the kids. So oh. any 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 person that deals with children working in the educational arena is eligible for the award to get nominated. I mean, that so. just brings a smile to my face mm -hmm. because it's like how, how often are we talking about, oh, our teacher in second grade said this thing that we remember. Absolutely. And things stick with us yes. more than you'd think. So to be able to honor those people who don't always get the recognition. Exactly. I mean, that's amazing, the custodian got an award. Yes. 
So who exactly is able to nominate? Anyone someone? can nominate. Anyone from um, any county, any, mm -hmm. anything? I prefer um, students. I really love it when the students nominate because yeah. I think it touches the uh, educators a lot more. But um, co-workers, friends, family members, whomever, you, you know an educator that has, is doing a great job and doing great things in the community, they are the ideal candidate for us. Um, and last year we had our first lifetime achievement. We uh, recognize a retired administrator um, and I nominated him because he meant a lot to me in my career. So um, we take nominations from anyone. Wow. Just fill out the form and, and we'll we'll see. We're, we're trying to get really competitive about it. Yeah, so. as you should. Mm -hmm. The process for it is simply go into your website and there's a form. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine it would take too terribly long. Nope, but it's not long at all. person and why. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And then when do they get the award? The, uh, the banquet is actually on um, August 5th this year. Okay. It's at the Savoy um, in Ferguson, the Savoy Banquet Center in Ferguson. And it'll be at our annual scholarship uh, brunch and Educator Impact Awards. So oh. that's where they'll receive their award. That is just wonderful. Yes. And we've got until June 1st. Yes. That is when the nominations close. So if you're thinking about that educator that just moved you in some way, shape, or form, definitely submit them. Please, yes. And I'm just, I'm so intrigued by the whole foundation. Mm -hmm. Can I ask Dr. Richards, how have you seen kids sort of evolve and change for the better from the time they approached you to the time that they they got the help that they needed? Um, you, usually they're just very um, helpful in that they got you know, they usually is to find money for school. And the mm -hmm. scholarship, we give our scholarships, it's not just for college. You can be going to trade school. Oh, great. Um, any type of post-secondary program that, programming that you're going to, you can go to. Students typically hear scholarship and they think college. It's not just for college. So That's whatever program they're pursuing, we will help them with that as well, even if they're going to the military. If they need expenses to do whatever, we'll help them with that. Um, Wow. So yes, I've seen students that have um, come back. One particular student, she's going on to the military. She was in nursing um, school and she's decided to go on to the military and she just was very thankful for uh, us helping her um, with her education and encouraging her to, to go on and mm -hmm. do better, so yes. You are do. Do you just feel like such a rock star at the end of the day? I mean, look at the work that you're doing. Um, it, it makes me feel really good just yeah. to see students um, doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. And when that light bulb goes off and they get it, that it's just like, yes, you yes. know, it's, it's, it's fantastic to see them. And just they understand that there'll be bumps along the way, but we're there to help them um, and, and to reach out and yeah. if they need help to always ask so we, we can try to come to some solutions for them. Mm -hmm. So, yes. And is it limited to high school? students? It, it is, yes. Okay. Right now we're only dealing with high schools, but in the future we're going to try to bridge that pipeline from middle school all oh, the way and follow them cool. all the way through their post-secondary Amazing. Options, so. I mean, yeah. That's a long-term goal of ours, yes. Yeah, I think kids at all ages, mm -hmm. everyone has a need. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a little help in, in some way. Yes. So I'd love to just hear, how did you come up with the name Titus II for your foundation? So Titus II, it is a, although we're not a religious organization, it's, it's founded on biblical principles, which mm -hmm. is Titus II, the chapter in the, um, the book of Titus oh, in the Bible. Cool. And it talks about specifically the older generation teaching the younger generation how they oh. should act. So just being mentors, being examples for the young people because we have to lead them um, they, right. because they don't know. We're here to teach them. So that's what is founded on the biblical principles of us being an example for the younger people and I try to strive every day to be an example for them and not just tell them what to do but show them um, yes. how to do there's it. There's such so. a difference between talking with people yes. and then talking at them. Exactly. And one exactly. way might be a little more impactful than the other. Yes. So can I ask how can people get involved say they want to donate say the event might be looking for sponsors yes. or someone to donate some raffle items absolutely where do all they go? of that they can go to titus2foundation.org that's okay. our website um, you can always email me at titus2foundation at gmail.com okay. um, and just reach out we're going to be asking for like you said sponsorships for the event as well as donations for future scholarships. Um, during our event, we have a, a raffle, which is very competitive, um, where we have items and people bid on the different items or oh, they um, yes. we raffle off different items. So we've had um, some great sponsors in the past um, to donate items to us or just, just making general donation to the foundation. Mm -hmm. We always use it for good. We, um, we're just trying to impact the youth of, of our region, St. Louis. So 
Um, any help is needed. We'll, we'll soon in the future be getting volunteers for things like mock interviews and nice. helping the students with resumes and things like oh, that. Oh, okay. But, yes. That is really good to know. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk about that. Yes. Um, thank you so much. It is really inspiring to hear your story, why you started this, and you really walk the walk. Yes. I think that's a I really try. Deal. I try. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you so much for all that you do. Again, the third annual Impact Awards, they are seeking nominations. Think about that person that has really inspired you throughout the years. Um, Titus2foundation.org is where you're going to nominate them. You've only got until June 1st. Can people submit more than one person? Yes. Okay. Submit all the people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's going to be great. And they will be awarded in August over at the Savoy Banquet Center in North County. They're going to get those awards at the scholarship brunch. That's going to do it. Thank you so much for talking with me Thank today. Thank you. I really appreciate I you I hope you get a ton today. of traffic to the I website. I do too. That's what we're looking More for. More donations than you know what to yes. do with. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to do it right here on STL TV. But keep it locked right here. Don't change the channel because this is where you get to really experience St. Louis. Uh, make sure you check us out on all the social media platforms. Pick your favorite. We're everywhere. Uh, also, the good old website, stltv.net, is where you can find a ton of great programming and lots of wonderful information there, too. So we'll see you next time. That's going to do it.